Hello listeners, welcome back for another interesting story. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Am I the a-hole for kicking out my mother-in-law after she showed up in my labor and delivery without my mom? For the past three months, it's been a very well-known plan that when I, 30F, went into labor, my husband was going to drive me to the hospital and my mother-in-law was going to pick up my mother, my kids, and my grandmother, all from one house. Both my mother-in-law and my mom were supposed to be in the delivery room. My gram was to watch my two kids in the waiting room. Everyone was in agreement with the plan. Now, my husband and I have two sons already, and for both births, my mother was present. She helped me through so much of the mental anguish and panic, especially after my last, whom literally almost killed me. I was bleeding out on the table, and my mom was the only one able to keep me calm. I needed her to be with me with this baby too, mentally, so we worked this plan out months in advance, and everyone was on the same page. However, I go into labor. We make the phone calls to mother-in-law and my mom, telling my mom to be ready and my mother-in-law to go get my mother. An hour and 15 minutes later, mother-in-law shows up at the hospital without my mom, my kids, or my grandmother. She said, well, it's late, so we need to just let everyone sleep. It was 9.30 p.m., and then sat her ass down on the chair in the delivery room and jumped on her phone. I told her in a pissed off tone to go get my mom. That was the plan. I needed my mom, etc., etc., and she just wouldn't. At one point, saying that she didn't feel up to driving that much. My mom lives 20 minutes from her house, an hour away. So, I told her to get the f out of the room and that she was dead to me. The amount of resentment and disgust that I felt toward her in this moment is honestly not something I feel I will overcome anytime soon. She was pissed, saying that my mom got to experience two births already and how she didn't do anything wrong and she was just being respectful of people's sleep and where she wasn't leaving, she was actually escorted out. Now, my mom was able to make it to the hospital, literally, just as I was giving birth. My kids and my grandmother weren't able to make it, which bothers me a great deal. We promised our kids they would be the first first to meet their sister, outside of us and Grammy. I cannot forgive my mother-in-law for this at all. I honestly feel like I hate her with every fiber of my being, but I'm being told I'm taking this too far and that it wasn't that big of a deal. Am I the a-hole for kicking her out of the delivery room? Here is my two cents. It's an extreme reaction, but OP was on the verge of childbirth while her mother-in-law did not follow the plan she was instructed to and not respecting Op's wishes during a crucial moment. It seems that mother-in-law more or less deliberately did not pick up Op's family as she was told to do so. Given that this task had been prearranged planned for a while and the emotional importance of having her own mother present during the birth should not be taken lightly. What she did was very selfish if it was deliberate which caused more people to miss out an important event including herself. Her first reason saying, well, it's late so we need to just let everyone sleep. That is just straight up BS. Everyone can skip sleep when another family member is about to be born. That was just a lousy excuse of her as she had ulterior motive. Mother-in-law sounds like she just want to be the only one who will witness this birth because she missed out on previous grandchildren's births. Why not share the special event with all the family? Mother-in-law just destroyed her relationship with her daughter-in-law over her selfishness. Given her past experiences and the emotional support her mother provided during previous births, it's understandable that she wanted her her mother to be there for this birth as well. If something were to happen to OP and her family wasn't there because of mother-in-law's selfishness, she would be hated by everyone. But that's just what if. Overall, mother-in-law is in the fault for not following the plan, harsh as it is. OP is not the a-hole. That's just my opinion.